Your Excellency, my brother and my friend, the Governor of River State, Chief Nelson Wike, the Governor elect and the Deputy Governor elect, the Right Honorable Speaker, our leader in the PDP representing the South South that is here, my midwife, the one who midwived me in 2019. Honorable Commissioners, our Royal Highnesses, our Royal Fathers, my Ogad, the Chairman of the PDP in Bauchi and in Rivers, other elected members of the House, elected senators and members of the House of Representatives, our dear people of River State, distinguished invitees, ladies and gentlemen. I'm highly delighted to be here today on behalf of myself and the government and people of Bauchi State. Rivers is the next political dispensation for any politician who wants visibility and he who wants to associate with capacity in Nigeria. My brother Wike is the only person that can get me out of Bauchi today. I respect him so much. He's a friend and a compatriot and he's a good leader. I said it last year here when I came to commission or to plug off a bridge that Wike is the face of leadership in governance at the subnational level. Irrespective of his very nature, which is natural for those who are hyperactive in terms of performance, in terms of zero tolerance on corruption, I believe he deserves all the accolades and the praises for being one of the best of our times who has done so much to make sure he leaves behind legacies and landmarks. I'm not flattering him when I said I have not seen a governor commissioning projects even at the twilight of his administration. I remember one in the north, Lake Eradua, and I told him he's one, the second person. At the time, some governors that are going are preparing their exit. This gentleman is still walking. It is so amazing that a road of this nature with a lot of engineering challenges could be done in six months or three months. Money alone cannot do this, but commitment. That is for his performance. In terms of politics, we have very little difference. But he has always scored above me. He wanted a southern president, he got one. I wanted a northern president, I didn't get. So he has done very well. At the state level, I know the challenges I faced. But he faced more challenges. And I wonder how he delivered 100%. State Assembly 32 over 32. Senators 3 over 3. Governor 1 over 1. This is very amazing at this time when the politics is awash with a lot of mischief and chickenery. And yet he delivered. And not only that, in between the elections, he craved for a southern president and he delivered him. And he turned around and delivered 100% at the state level. I think people should really acknowledge this capacity. It is not ordinary. It's not just about money. There is a hand of God in it. I told you, Governor Wike, that you should press up for leadership in Nigeria. You should do your best to make sure you swallow some of the inconveniences. Because they are part of the gross. You are part of the million of a leader. I have seen in you a leader that can deliver on his words, promise delivered. And of course, some of the impossibles, you do them. Nigeria needs this kind of hand to 
to deliver we have so many challenges so many problems and challenges across the lands and breadth of the country we need compatriots we need statesmen who will live above board who will bring changes that will have good impact on our lives and these are the kind of impact we are making building two bridges within your tenure more bridges than lagos and you are not only doing for the cosmopolitan city of rivers even some local governments like this one you are building township roads the economic benefits drivable from these initiatives can better be imagined i praise you and i really crave and cherish our friendship and relationship i have a lot to copy from you and i think other leaders have a lot to copy from you i congratulate you for having your successor i believe he has your training and your pedigree and your foresight and i congratulate the people of river state for identifying with you and making sure they give you the latitude and the leverage to bring the passion that will really continue from where you are living off continuity and dynamism is what is required and you have taken the odds to make sure you deliver well done my brother with this few remarks i have the honor and privilege to the glory of god and to the benefit of the people here and rivers to commission this township roads of remi ugo to the benefit of everybody thank you very much